I lost $10,000 to Jester at his 1v1 basketball tournament. I'm going to explain how it happened, but first. We have to go back to January 2023 because at this point, I've been posting content consistently for three years and I just started to get monetized on TikTok. The only problem was I had three goals and the first one was to become a YouTuber, not a TikToker. And I'm sorry, but I can't tell you guys those other two goals just yet because I want you guys to stick around. So all I was doing at this time was trying to figure out how to grow my YouTube channel and playing basketball. I tried reaching out to a lot of people and asking for advice on what's the best way to grow my YouTube channel and what they use to get successful. And they all really gave me the same advice, consistency, hard work, you know, all that boring cliche shit that we hear all the time. But that answer wasn't enough for me, so I kept learning and I kept posting on YouTube, but somehow I luckily ended up finding out about this 1v1 tournament that Jester was going to hold for $10,000. But there was two problems. First, the tournament was held in LA, that's across the country, and second, there was no way for me to sign up. But I wasn't going to let this opportunity just go, so I DM'd everybody on Jester's team and shout out to Anthony because he was the only person who responded and he said he could guarantee me a spot, but I would have to get there by myself. So what do you think I did? I spent all my money and booked a flight to LA and the next thing you know, we're in Cali bro, it's the first time here and my brother pull up here, never been here before, I ain't gonna lie, the weather is not like we expected. So let's come back to the future real quick and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I was thinking at this time. So in my mind, I'm like, I'm gonna win the tournament, then pick Jester's brain for YouTube and then blow up on YouTube right after and I'm gonna get an extra 10K. But then it was time for the tournament. So we're about to go meet up at the Mamba Sports Academy and that's where the tournament takes place. Bro. I don't even think it's called the Mamba Sports Academy anymore. Bro. Damn, why are you breathing so heavy? Nah, that's you. We finally got to the facility. This shit looking crazy, I ain't gonna lie. You got me with this Ohio State shit. I guess, I guess. I know a couple people from Ohio State. Can't drop names. So this was the first time I was in Cali. And you guys know the song Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus? Look to my right and I see the Hollywood sign. This is all so crazy. Everybody seems so famous. Yeah, that's exactly how I felt. Bro, I'm looking around now. There's so many YouTubers, TikTokers here. I think I saw a Jester, I talked to him. What's his name? I think Seji's here. Apparently everyone nowadays has a camera and calls on YouTube. I don't know. This shit looking crazy though. Couple of like pro hoopers. My tummy turning and I'm feeling kind of homesick. Too much pressure and I'm nervous. That's when the taxi man turn on the radio. And that's exactly where it stops. Because there was no taxi, there was no radio, and there was no Jay-Z song on. So my butterflies didn't fly away because they were caterpillars instead. It's a little too big for me, it's fine. There's so many YouTubers here. I'm looking, looking a little nervous. I ain't gonna lie. This is what I do. This is what I do. Look, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I'm capping my ass off here. No matter what I say or what I do, don't get fooled. I'm completely nervous right now. If you've ever been nervous before a game, you know exactly what I'm talking about right now. And I've been experiencing this ever since I started playing sports. And to this day, I'm still working on figuring out the best way to solve this. But it's time to get back to the tournament. Welcome to the Bucket Squad Invitational March Tournament! Yeah! So now we went through all the introductions and went over the rules and now it's time for the games. But somehow I was the first game and at this point you know I got the butterflies in my stomach and I'm hella nervous. But none of that shit matters because I still started out hot and I got to a 3-0 lead. And mind you, game is to 5. And at that point, I had everyone turning their heads in the gym, even Jesser. Probably because they didn't expect me to be tough. But then I started choking. Thank <laughs> you. 
Watch out for uh, thank you. So yeah, I ended up losing in the first round in the first game. And at this point, everything is off because I didn't win the 10K and I didn't make as much content as I wanted to. And I'm gonna be completely honest. At this point, I felt like I flew across the country for nothing because I didn't win and I didn't blow up on YouTube. So all of that went to waste. And look, the story isn't over because then I'm still in Cali and I've never been here before. So I went to explore the city. And as I'm driving through Cali, I'm noticing all these billboards and mansions. And it made me feel like I was just a failure and I haven't really done anything in my life. And I felt that way for a long time, even after the tournament. And it kind of reflected in the videos I was putting out as well. And I had to spend a lot of time thinking after this. And then I did something unusual. I even remembered all the failures I had up until that point. And I've had a lot. Like, I didn't even make my high school basketball team. That's how bad I was. But no matter what happens, life still goes on. I still have another chance every single day to get better. That's the mindset I began to adopt because of my loss. And I'm starting to get used to putting in the hard work without seeing any results. But I know if I stay consistent and keep working for long enough, eventually the results will come. And just like that, I was back to square one. But this time, I just had a different mindset. And then I really had to ask myself what went wrong and why did I get the results that I got. And after spending some time reflecting, I figured out two reasons on why I got the results that I did. And the first one is because I was too small and too unathletic on the court. Because I felt that skill-wise, I was up there. It was just an athletic problem. And the second was because my videos weren't good. Because I was relying on someone else to help grow my channel instead of relying on myself and actually focusing on making the best videos possible. And so now it was time to grind. So for the past year, I've been continuously working on improving my videos and getting better with every single one. And on top of that, I've also been focused on lifting, getting stronger, and getting faster. And I even have a whole series showcasing my dunk journey. I'm going to show you how great I am. Great I am. Great I am. This kid's going to be somebody better than anybody ever knew. I'm going to show you how great I am. And I promise that you guys are going to see a lot more of me going forward. And it doesn't matter if you love me or hate me. Either way, I'm here to stay. And no matter what happens, I'm always going to put in the work to become the best basketball player and best YouTuber that I can be. And I want to thank you for all your support.